Hello and welcome to a gorgeous sunny morning in Cheshire. Gentle breeze, so I might have to just grab the camera sometimes. Little bits of wispy clouds and it just makes me want to do some deep breathing. And I want to talk about little things because little things they can and they do mean a lot. I went to the supermarket yesterday and there was a young lady going round doing the click and collect or the online shopping and everybody was bustling around but I looked in her direction, she looked in mine and she smiled and I just had to stop and say, do you know, thank you for that, that makes such a difference and she said what what do you mean i said you smile she said oh yes there's so many miserable so-and-sos around aren't there she said but you smile too i said yes i always do so we had a little mumble about people not smiling and on we got with our day but it had meant a lot to me and i thanked her for her smile and she said do you know, that means a lot, that you appreciated what I did. You appreciated me. So, uh, yeah, we were both happy. And it hadn't cost anybody anything. But I was having a chat with my friend. She doesn't live nearby. But we have spoken every single day since before the first lockdown. Every single day. We haven't missed one. And sometimes it will be two calls, and on occasions, if one of us isn't feeling very bright, it will be three calls. And they're not just five minutes, they're half an hour, 45 minutes minimum. And the topics we cover, you would be amazed. We cover the whole range. But the other day we were reflecting back on COVID, and I was saying, oh gosh, yes, so many people have missed so many things. Um, holidays, they've pasted on, uh, posted on Facebook, oh, I've not had a holiday for a year. Oh, and I'm hoping that, there have been a few planes over this morning, so I'm hoping that despite the problems at the airports, some of them have got off on their holidays in the sunshine. But we said, what have we missed most? And actually, we agreed it was the little things. Especially simple little things like having somebody make a cup of tea for you. It's not asking a lot, but just that somebody shows that they care. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it missed. Yes, we missed the hugs and everything else. Um, but we, we knew that they couldn't happen for a while. But uh, I think we've been making up for it since with friends around and family around. But my little furry friend, Mishka, I think he appreciates the little things too. Exhibit A. <laughs> it's a tail. It used to be the tail of a mouse. But now the tail is all that is left of this poor little mouse. A toy one, not a real live mouse, obviously. Not with a furry tail like that. He's an indoor cat anyway, so he wouldn't be giving me little gifts of, of mice. Thank goodness. But this came... I'm sure it came free when I bought something else. So it hadn't even cost anything. But he has played and played and played with it. And it gradually dropped to pieces and I would stitch the tail back onto the body. And I would stitch an ear back on and they would gradually disintegrate again. I've tried to replace it. I've bought ones that you fill with catnip quick sniff and that's it 
this one was the only one that he would play with. <laughs> I can't find one that matches it. So poor, sad pussycat. <laughs> All he's got left to play with is his tail. So for him, little things do mean a lot. Bless. On that note, I'll love you and leave you and I'd better get his tail back to him. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Take the best care of yourself that you can. And join me again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.